So now I'm going to show you how to create a 3D map in QGIS. In the previous video, I showed you how to add layers using the Quick OSM plugin. And now I'm going to show you how to make this three dimensional. Um, so the first thing we're going to do uh, now that we've got our 2D map, uh, we're going to go to view. Uh, we're going to go to view um, and new 3D map view. And you'll see this little, oh, you'll see this little window come up that's accidentally docked. Um, uh, so uh, what it will do first is download the 2D map into this uh, new 3D map window. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to zoom into the, um, to the area that I want to um, uh, focus on. So I'll just um, zoom in here, you'll see it load. And uh, what we can do is uh, you can use the middle mouse button um, to click and drag to just kind of see what it will look like 3D. Um, so gently drag because it's quite sensitive. And that looks pretty good. Um, so what this will do is uh, just put your 2D map at an angle. Um, and uh, when you're um, happy with the angle, you can um, add three-dimensional data um, to make this a 3D map. Um, so I'm basically just going to extrude the buildings. Um, so uh, to do this, you need to uh, style uh, the buildings, uh, which, um, in fact, I'm just going to dock this uh, here. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'm going to style these buildings. Um, so I'm going to double click on the building layer. And um, here you can, uh, on the um, sidebar, you can go to 3D view. And under no symbols in this menu, just um, select single symbol um, and just move this so you can see, see what happens to the map. Um, okay, so uh, we have a couple of options now. Um, the first thing we can do is just extrude the buildings. Um, and I'm uh, just going to extrude it by um, 30 meters to see what happens. Um, and yeah, then you'll see that the buildings in the map um, have uh, all extruded. So you have a bunch of 30 meter blocks. Um, so you have the option to do this. And uh, you can also, um, you can also uh, do it another way. So um, in the, uh, the little icon next to um, extrusion, uh, data defined override, I just click here and you can, um, you can extrude the buildings to their specific height um, if the data is, um, if the height data is available. Um, so under field type, uh, you'll see uh, this appear. So I'm just going to select height. Um, select height, extrusion right to zero, and just click apply and see what happens. Right, so you'll see that. Um, some of the data is available for uh, the height of these buildings, but um, but not also. You can see there are some uh, towers here that have been um, where the data has been set into um, OpenStreetMap, um, but there isn't data available for the rest of them, so they've stayed uh, two dimensional. Um, so for the sake of um, for this reason, I'm going to just uh, deactivate and put this back to. Um, so 40 meters, and uh, then we have our 3D map. Um, and you'll, you'll see that by um, default, the building blocks are black, but this can, uh, this can also be changed um, by just changing, uh, changing the ambience. Uh, I can just make this a, uh, just a paler color, and, and you'll see that the building blocks are lighter. Anyway, those are just some of the basics of how to create a 3D map in QGIS.